It's been an interesting year for the Melbourne Primary Care Network. We started off the year running in a northwest Melbourne Medicare local, and by the end of it, we're now running Northwestern Melbourne Primary Health Network. Melbourne Primary Care Network is responsible for the PHN region that takes in the north and western parts of Melbourne, from Lansfield in the north to Bacchus Marsh in the west and Werribee in the southwest, all the way into the CBD. At its simplest, PHNs are about creating healthier communities. It's really about providing the right care in the right place at the right time. PHNs are responsible for better coordination of care and driving integration between health services, both primary and acute. The role of general practice in a primary care system is incredibly important. They are the cornerstone of really excellent care for people in the community. PHNs are hoping to achieve a quadruple aim in healthcare. The first is to improve population health for communities across Australia. The second is to enhance people's healthcare experience. The third is to reduce per capita costs of healthcare. And finally, increasing the effectiveness of healthcare providers. The Federal Government have identified six priority areas for all 31 primary health networks to work on. The first two are about groups in our society that often have complex and chronic illnesses, aged care and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. The third one is about an illness that is often complex and chronic, mental health illness. The fourth and fifth is about building and connecting our workforce, so it's about health workforce planning and e-health. And the final one is about population health planning so that we can understand our region. In addition to the six national priority areas, we need to work out what our region needs. And that's where the population health planning piece comes in. We'll develop that collectively across many organisations and healthcare sectors and bring their expertise together. The thing is about developing a song sheet that's actually shared between us and it will be informed by many different data sets and organisations and also informed by our peak clinical and community advisory groups. At Melbourne Primary Care Network we have some very strong guiding principles about the way we work with others. The key words are partnership and collaboration. We may facilitate collaboration or we may be directly involved but there's an important role for us to connect our stakeholders in the region. Our success and the health of the communities we support depends on collective effort we know that by working with partners and with the community that that will yield better health outcomes. For example, working with our partners or stakeholders to create new models of care or new programs or systems, or it might be fostering technological innovation, for example, but very much in the context of evidence-based care and maintaining a focus on improving the health of our community. So my name's Karen Field. I'm the CEO of Drummond Street Services. We provide family counselling, relationship services, and child mental health services across North West Melbourne. We've been delighted at Drummond Street to work with the Melbourne Primary Care Network. It's been an incredible collaborative partnership and the fruits of that has been that we've been able to provide some very innovative, flexible services to some of the most marginalised communities in Melbourne. In particular, the LGBTI, the Gay, Lesbian, Transgender, Intersex Community Psychological Treatment Service. There's been a willingness of the network to actually meet with client groups, an enormous benefit in terms of making sure that the services we deliver are responsive to their needs. So I think the highlights for us as an organisation were very much around how we plan for transition to the PHN. I think that there was a lot of work in terms of stabilising our workforce and making sure that we had actually continued to deliver on the programs we were contracted to in that period leading up to June. Since we've been operating the PHN, we've delivered a range of clinical services to our community, especially those who are vulnerable. Our practice management and support team have made over 600 meaningful practice visits, 240 meetings with key stakeholders and community groups. Since the 1st of July, we've developed 51 new health pathways and they've gone live, which now brings a total of localised pathways to 198. Through our Care and Mind services, which is our mental health program, where the access to allied psychological services exists, we've been able to deliver over 4,300 sessions to 851 clients. 200 of those have been utilising the skilled interpreters that we have in this space, and we've now got 150 clinicians who are contracted to deliver those sessions. In our hospital ambitions and risk program, we've delivered over 1,300 sessions to clients to keep them out of hospital and keep them well in their community. And we've now delivered over 2,088 sessions under our Care Coordination and Supplementary Service Program to our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community. We've also undertaken and um, drafted our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander 
um, snapshot which is about closing the health gap for that community. We've got some key priorities around advanced care planning and that's a collaborative approach to how we undertake that activity with the hospitals, general practice, community health centres and residential aged care se settings. And we're also undertaking partnership work around the priority group of the refugee um, community who are currently coming into Victoria and Australia more broadly. 2016 will be an incredibly exciting year for Melbourne Primary Care Network. We'll be substantially changing the way that we do business. We'll no longer be delivering services, but commissioning those services out. We'll be undertaking a population health needs assessment, getting the evidence together and purchasing services across the region, which really mean that people get the right services at the right time. PHNs will take a key role in mental health reform in 2016. What's happening is that the federal government has allocated flexible funds for PHNs to purchase services across their region which are consumer based, family oriented and outcomes focused. So given that, we're looking forward immensely to the work that we're going to do in 2016 to improve healthcare across our region.